He is wearing white trunks with red and green trim. He proudly represents his hometown of Oxnard, California. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 154 pounds. He also is undefeated at 20 wins, no losses, with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the sixth defense of his title. Please welcome the hard-hitting, undefeated, IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, introducing the ferocious Fernando He is fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing green trunks with black trim, hailing from and proudly representing Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at the limit of 154 pounds even. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 38 wins, no losses, 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making his 19th appearance in a world title bout. Here is the explosive two-time world champion, the current undefeated WBA super welterweight champion of the world, introducing Felix Tito. you want to do you got to show clear that first of all i'm not afraid of you then you got to back it up though big left hook by trinidad and vargas is stunned vargas is stunned and down and you know how stunned he is because he didn't take the full count he got up too quickly that's Seven, not six, no left hook trinidad can't go to the wheel he's not playing around now second knockdown for trinidad He's the one who said it would be a quick, dominant, knockout performance. This is not what any expert come, come expected. In. Okay, okay. But this is what Felix said he'd do. No three knockdown rule in effect. Vargas attempts to grab and hold, then backs away again. Manages to duck a couple of punches. Seemingly getting his legs back under him now. He was not prepared early for the quickness of Vargas's hands, of Trinidad's hands. Sorry, Trinidad's hands. All the talk about how Trinidad goes down early, and suddenly Vargas is down twice in the first minute and a half. First time he'd run into some adversity. He finished Vargas off, and I don't know why. This is an unusual situation. He better use Larry, a look at the knockdowns. Stunned early in the fight. He has never been down as a professional prize fighter. Never been in the ring with somebody as deadly and quick as Tito Trinidad. And Trinidad did everything he could to finish it right then and there. Give Vargas credit for showing some stability and maturity in a slow round despite being down twice and now from him Watson Vargas Vargas a couple of rounds every goal that for Vargas to get his balance back another left hand land hurt. flush for Trinidad and Vargas is stunned again Vargas having trouble handling Trinidad's power don't know right hand lands for his mistake of punching with ever George he's having no success standing out of Trinidad, so he has to try to get inside this. Back under him, that's what he should be doing. There was a brutal body shot by Trinidad that set up this assault, but Vargas is thing too early. Trinidad. Big right hand. And, and this is one of the first times you've seen Trinidad try to sprint early like this. Trinidad holding on to Vargas' right arm as Vargas whacked away with the left. Best rally of the fight for Fernando. You don't want to be in front of a guy like that. He's in position. Trinidad with a long right hand that wobbles Vargas back. Ready to take off on you and go. Some of us really expected Vargas to be at angles and not. He's got Trinidad boxing. And there Vargas beginning to put punch and taking too many punches. Oh, good right hand by Vargas. 
right on the chin. Again, with a guy on the ball of his right foot. And he takes the left hand as the result of it. You don't want to throw, you want to throw your right hand and because you throw your left hand. with Trinidad's right eye. He and now Vargas sees a chance and bangs away with the left while Trinidad holds on to his right. What if, what if Hard right hand by Trinidad. Into the right eye of Trinidad. Apparently he's clear now. Two more chopping right hands by Trinidad landed there. Not head out. The young fighter seems to have gotten his feet under him. He takes a low blow, and referee Jay Nady is going to give him a chance to recover. And if I'm Fernando Vargas, I would use all five minutes. There you go. Vargas has a chance now to at least interrupt that momentum. Here's a look at the low oh, blow. Oh, that's right there on the counter of the side of the hip. That hurts. That was a serious low blow. Give him two extra points, and down goes Tito on a big left hook. Sandy! Well, Harold, whatever the okay. score of the fight okay. was before, it just changed. Here comes Trinidad to try to follow up. I mean, check it, Vargas to try to follow up. Well, Vargas has said that if he got Trinidad in trouble, he wasn't going to let him off the hook. He got another low blow. Second foul of the fight for Trinidad, and we'll see if Nady will take a point away. No, it's low. A point deduction could be critical, and it is. And right now, Jim, it's a three-point round for Vargas, which equalizes the three-point round like that Trinidad that got in the first yeah. round. Oh, you got all you want. Did somebody say it was going to be a great fight? <laughs> well, I don't think you can order great fights from a catalog, but this one we may have. Let's take a look at the low blow. George, tell me how much this hurts the fighter. No, he's been hit low already, so it's already tender around the body. It's going to hurt him a lot, and it's going to affect his stomach also, so he's going to be in trouble for the rest of the Will fight. Will it limit performance the it's rest of the fight? It's going to limit a lot of movements now because it's hurt. He's planted the punches. Should he, re should he retaliate, George? No, no, not at all. You don't want to do that. Yes. Big left to the body by Trinidad. Vargas, Vargas was reaching for an uppercut. Vargas corner told him to go with the uppercut, but you just can't bring it all swollen. I think you're right on the money there, Larry. And he's I think Trinidad it. benefited. To cut while he's in the heights. So, Felix backing straight up. Take And if you're not getting hit with the kind of clean punches he was early in the fight. Now, stop and think for a second. And when you do that... Here's the knockdown, Larry. Here's the left hand that knocked Tito down. And from what I've seen in the corner, they're telling Tito that his eye looks okay. But it doesn't look okay. It looks bloodshot. When he was totally stunned by the two vicious left hooks. You want him to do spread that leg. What Good left hook. You know, now Vargas starts to get his jab going. And, and he, double left hook. And situation right here in the... These are the things that your corner has to look at. Vargas popping his... Vargas much more effective at range right now. This is a dominant... Oh, so far. And now for the first time on our Harold Letterman score... It was a thumb because there are no thumbs on these clubs, Jim. No, for sure. That's what Fernando would prefer. Oh, well, let him say it. We can't do it. Okay. In front of him and not do anything, he will... Fight. So he heard you in the last round. Begins to die. Vargas is looking to work on that eye, Fernando. You don't want to work on a man's eye. You want to work on the fight. Vargas tried the whole Trinidad. A, a big right hand by Trinidad hit Vargas in the neck and destabilized him momentarily. And two more left hooks by Trinidad. He was moving away early in the round. He likes to trade with Trinidad and gets the better of him for the moment. Okay, Jim, amazing. 55-55, three rounds apiece. Tito Trinidad definitely caught. The rounds belong to Trinidad. You've got to oh, box him. Another up. low blow. And this could be another point deduction for Trinidad. It would be very dispiriting if this great, great fight were to end on a disqualification. But Trinidad flirts with it now. The referee asked, are you all right? No way are you all right with that kind of punching power down below the belt. You're not okay. 
One and another point deduction against Trinidad. So that's two points deducted. If form follows, it's Trinidad time. is you flirting know. with disqualification. Yeah, I was wondering if something happened. Jay Nady came over to talk to Trinidad. Trinidad only speaks Spanish. And there's the punch, which was right along the belt line. But the way Vargas reacted, he certainly felt it was a low blow. Yeah, Here's tender another look. There. It's tender down there anyway. Now they're back to fighting in the ring. A little short with the oh, the corner. Dropped him for five minutes. And it's all the risk to it. A letterman memo to Jay Nady. Dan has moved back into some semblance of flow. Oh, keep going. Keep pressing the guy. Especially a boxer who knows how to punch backward. It was promised as a macho battle. And it's been a good left to the body by Vargas. A left hook to the body that made Trinidad knows it hurt him too. Excellent. There it is again. Vargas was on the belt line. Every right side hurt from that left hook. And there's another one by Vargas. And this time he doubles the left hook upstairs. And well, let me tell you, I didn't see anything low. In in the same spot, right above the... the... Well, this is that is, that's low. That was low. This Ten is... seconds left in the round now. They come down the stretch of the round, and Vargas momentarily hurt. It's because he stops and thinks for a second. And whenever he stops, Trinidad takes advantage of it. Lose concentration. He comes right down the middle with that right hand. <laughs> Uppercut attempt by Vargas. Begs Jeff. When Vargas hit him, done well with the swelling. He hasn't blown his nose. At <laughs> Vargas is getting really brave now throwing uppercut. Make sure you throw uppercut. You're in the middle of the ring. A right hand from distance momentarily wobbles Vargas. Another combination by Trinidad. Vargas grabs and holds. Another big right hand by Trinidad. Vargas in trouble. He stands and fires with the left. Hammering Vargas here. Oh, that left hook to the body by Trinidad. Another left to the body by Vargas. And that backs Trinidad up momentarily. That's what you want, Trinidad. You want to back him away. Make another him back up. To the body by Make Vargas. him back up. And another left to the body by Vargas. He stops Trinidad's momentum by raking Trinidad to the ribs. Right here, right here, it's toughness of Vargas against the skill and punching power. He want to mix it up, Vargas does. Trinidad. He's smiling. He's like, I'm going to keep it up. This is the strength of both fighters going at each other. This was Vargas's promise. I'm not going to back away. I'm not the kind of fighter who'll run. I'll stand with him. I'll trade with him. I'll stick with him all the way. That's what Vargas does as he comes down the stretch in round nine. Easy. Vargas took some heavy shots there, and he spent a lot of himself, I felt, in recovering. The question now is, the way three points. I don't think Navy will do it. It is three rounds to go. Harold, both rounds were very close. I have it. It's well. Vargas's left eye. And they stand and trade again. Trinidad with bigger power when they go face to face. Trinidad has been in this position in the latter rounds. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya right here. When some people thought that De La Hoya couldn't conceivably lose a decision in Vegas. Oh, to the body goes Trinidad for this fight. Glenn Hamada was also a judge for Trinidad De La Hoya, and he had that fight. What had another extremely close fight tonight. And a one-point deduction for Vargas. And the Trinidad fans go wild. Remember, there have already been two points to Douglas is throwing low punches too. He probably was, and then you caution point. Mark Ratner, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, was two seats away. Meanwhile, they're still busting each other face to face in the ring as round two. Here's a look at the low blow call, Larry. Yeah. It was low. It was a little low on the board. Because that was a big round for Trinidad, numerically, and he got... Now, Trinidad has definitely had the edge in power. Well, then how looks Trinidad? Sure. He doesn't do a lot of different things in there. Pride and absolute determination all the time. Try to match my will. That's what Felix Trinidad, he's been saying at the Vargas down the stretch of this fight. He knows how to go forward, and then he, he uses it. He's aggressive. Some fellas, they only do it when they have to go forward. But this Trinidad is a go forward puncher. Hard to do. Smart. Vargas has a ton of heart. Yes, about, but survive. 
Now get out of the way, he should be doing now. Good left hook inside by Vargas. Vargas with a momentary flash of offense him with a hard right hand to the jaw. Straight punch. There you go, Vargas. He's beating him to the punch and he's rattling him. He's got his heart. He's got his power. Don't get out of your habit. Go into the power. Okay, round. Jim, I absolutely did. Jim, there's no question. Out of the last four rounds, Tito Trinidad is released for the Down goes Vargas on a big left hook. And up he gets in a two seconds. And now it's abundantly clear. Fernando Vargas must score a knockout or he's lost this fight. Down goes Fernando again. Three, four, five, he seriously hurts. Six, he doesn't seven, have his eight, wits about him. Eight, sure? He is reacting come, simply come, come, from instinct come. and courage. He's out of it. He can't see Trinidad. He's about to get knocked out. Barring a miracle here, it's going to be a closing knockout for Tito. Fernando trying to survive, fires a couple of punches, and holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third right hand, the third knockdown of the round, a huge victory for Tito Trinidad. He closes the show like the champion he is. What a fight. What a fight. Give the people what they want. Did they get their money's worth tonight, George? He gave it to them. And also did Vargas. He also did as much. At the three knockdowns in the 12th round with which Trinidad finished Vargas and finished the fight. Knockdown number one. Another brilliant left hook. Typical of so many that Trinidad had landed throughout the fight. Typical of the left hooks with which he began all this in creating two knockdowns back in round number one. A third look at another perfect left hand shot on the button by Felix Trinidad. And then seconds later, the second knockdown and the one that made it clear that Vargas would need a near miracle just to finish the fight. Another clean shot with the left hook for Trinidad. And then finally, the third knockdown, almost an anti-climax at that point, as a wobbly Vargas simply could not muster the skill and the will to stay afoot against Trinidad's assault. And a merciful Jay Nady not bothering to count but rather stepping in to end the onslaught and spare the brilliant young talent any further punishment at the hands of the devastating Trinidad. 39th win of Felix Trinidad's career. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official details of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 33 seconds in round number 12. He's the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. And now the WBA and IBF 154 